All right, hey guys, so, okay. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my, I don't really even know how to macro, I guess. I totally realized that one of my braids is longer than the other, like you see this. I'm trying to make this, oh look, I'm talking for a minute, but I'm trying to make this under like five minutes just because I know a lot of people don't have time or don't really care to watch a 15 minute long ramble. I'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet. The air conditioning just turned off and I realized that I'm yelling. But first things first is, should you be counting macros? If you have a bad relationship with food where you're scared to eat carbs or you're scared to eat fat or you're scared to eat junk food because you think that it's going to, because you think it's going to ruin your progress or make you fat or whatever, I think it's really a really good tool um, just to teach you that eating junk here and there or even eating fat is not going to harm you. It's not going to make you fat. No food should be off limits and it really helps to show you that a balanced diet um, is good and that it won't ruin your progress. The way that macros get dangerous is when people want to follow it to a T. So like if they go a gram over or under, like they freak out. So if you're a perfectionist in the sense that you're gonna have to hit your macros every single day, I definitely don't recommend it. I would recommend more of a guideline. And how you would do that is say you eat 300 grams of carbs in a day, you could range it from like 290 to 310. So that's a little bit easier to like hit in between those numbers and of course you don't need to count macros but it's a really good way to find out how much you need to eat to gain muscle and how little you need to eat i didn't know my body or my metabolism or anything at all until i did start to count macros and that's how i've sort of managed to intuitive eat while i'm on a sort of like lull or break and i have started counting again just because I'm trying to bulk and I'm losing weight because I'm not getting enough. So I started to track just again to make sure that I'm getting um, the amount of food that I need to. Another thing is what are macros? Macros are going to be carbs, fat, and protein. And they are all important. Of course your micronutrients are important as well, but for the most part I just count my macros. It shows you that you need a variety of foods and you can't just eat protein and fat all the time and you can't just eat straight carbs. The idea of macro counting is, the easiest way that I explain it is, it's the idea that a carb is a carb is a carb. So if you are getting your carbs from rice or from donuts or from Sour Patch Kids, they're technically the same carbs and yeah they're different like simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates but again the idea of macros is that you can eat whatever you want and still look aesthetically the same this is not saying that it's the healthiest it's not saying that you're in your insides are going to thank you later. Um, and that's why I recommend counting macros on an 80-20 or 70-30 um, ratio, so like 70% healthy, 30% snacks that you just want or crave or whatever. And that's what I follow. So that's how I use it. I know people use it to eat straight junk food and I know people use it and still eat very clean, um, but that's just a preference and what you can stick to and I don't push a clean diet uh, just because I personally didn't like it and it did me more harm than good. How do you count macros? Um, I will leave a link to two videos down below and the first one is going to be to figure out how much, how many calories you need to be eating in a day um, to meet your goals and then the second one is going to be how to calculate your macros. Um, there's makes no sense in me redoing those videos. When I did end up getting a coach last year, and she calculated my macros, they pretty much came out to be the same. So I definitely think that's a very reliable source. I track on my fitness pal. I don't pay attention to my fitness pal's numbers. It'll try to tell you how much you need to eat. I either zero everything, so it just says I have zero calories for the day and I just use it to see what numbers I'm at, um, or I'll just ignore them. But a lot of people will start to get confused when they see my fitness pal is trying to calculate it and they give you like percentages to hit and you can't get the percentages to meet the numbers that you got. Um, so again, I just so, sort of ignore it and I really just use it to lock my food. A few questions that I got, I put on uh, my Snapchat that I was gonna do this video and asked if you guys had any questions. So if you want 
to um, ask me any questions for a video or whatever, you can either do it on Instagram or Snapchat. So make sure you're following me there. Just a little self promo, like everybody. Okay. Macro friendly snacks. I'm mostly going to just say one or two favorites. These are not healthy. These are just the ones that I'm telling you. I find easy to fit in my macros when I want a little something sweet or sugar or whatever. For protein, a few of my favorites are, um, what are they called? I almost called them climber bars. No, I'm pretty sure they are. They're cliff bars, but I'm pretty sure they're called like climber bars. Like that's the type of bar it is. And then um, a Think Thin brownie crunch bar and then complete cookies. For carbs, I like to fit in cereals like Fruit Loops and Apple Jacks are pretty much just straight carbs. They each have like one gram of fat per serving. Um, Pop-Tarts, Sour Patch Kids, also pretty much straight carbs. And then Ben & Jerry's Froyo. For fat, candy or regular ice cream, um, donuts. That was a pretty quick video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out a little. If you're just starting out, I definitely recommend macros. Just don't go insane over them. Don't think you need to hit them on the head every single day. Like, give yourself a range. It's a lot easier. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And again, all my social media stuff and those two videos for macro calculating will be down in the description. Bye.